Ice cream lover Steve Christensen here, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. If I could literally take this thing home in my luggage, I absolutely would. A three-wheel gelato cart. We've seen these all around the place, particularly in Sorrento. Kind of like a utility cart. Inside here, it's almost just like a uh, motorbike. You've got your lights and your brakes and all that kind of thing. I've seen these with actually two people sitting in them. I think if you're a big fella like me, you'll never ever get a second person in. It's pretty simple in here. You've got your wiper motor here, a little bit of a speedo here. Uh, but the real magic is in the back. So let's uh, jump out of here if we can. Crikey. Oy, oy, oy. Not built for comfort or big fellas. In the back here, you've got probably what I would call the party in the back. You've got business in the front, party in the back. I've got an eight bucket or an eight pan Pazetti case uh, that you can actually have your product in. Again, it's sitting in glycol. Uh, or forced air. So you've got your uh, bucket that sits in there. Very, very cool. Here you've got your cup rack, flavor rack. Put your uh, process in. You've got your small hand washing sink down below there. Most health departments want the hand washing sink. I love it. If I could basically snavel up a few of these and take them back to America, I would. It's been a big crowd pleaser at the show. It's made by a company called MDF over here, MDF. There'll be a link to their video down uh, in the comments section here. Uh, but basically we're using this as the launching pad to uh, visit some of the other carts, trailers, and other functionality or other vehicles that you would need to take your product on the road. <laughs> Ice cream lovers, as we continue our journey talking about vehicles, bikes, trailers, and so forth, Again, another growing segment is this hybrid bike technology. This is a pretty cool, this is from Lambro. Uh, again, it's not a, a refrigerated kind of gelato van. It's more of a people mover slash uh, perhaps uh, take product to different places. Kind of see in the back here, you've got some options here for storage. Uh, you could put uh, a couple of coolers in there, maybe a little refrigerated case. Uh, it's very cool, very cool indeed. Grazie. Over here, we've got something similar, but it is actually designed for a gelato. You've got your six Posetti cases in the back here. Little compressor going. Looks great. Imagine pulling up at the local park, uh, Central Park, maybe down the main street here, with a ring, ring. It would be pretty awesome. The process of battery power, hybrid power, and pedal power uh, works out very, very well. I do want to show you this VW van. It's not mobile. It's sitting on a trailer. Uh, but I like the fact that you've got um, this very, very unique process of serving gelato uh, or any type of uh, food in it. You can't tell me that this isn't going to turn heads every time this pulls up at a uh, party, a fair, uh, uh, an open day. Easter Resistance is right behind you here with the double-decker VW bus. Check this fella out, will you? Right down the bottom here, we've got drinks happening. It could be coffee, it could be gelato. You've got your menu boards up there as well for anything you want to do. Business down below, but it's party upstairs. And that's where we're going, ladies and gentlemen. Come on up. Now, you can deck this out however you want. I have no idea if you can hear me or not. The music's cranking, but as you get into the groove of the VW action, you don't want to move around too much because they're making hot coffee and drinks now, but I don't want to spill anything. But before, they've actually had smoke pouring out of here, different lights. I'm telling you what, this is the piece de resistance, the top level. 
of food trucks that we have seen here at the CGF show. As we always say, join us down below. Click link and subscribe. Leave a comment. Keep on scooping. I will see you in the next video.